video I'm going to talk about one of the charts uh, that we have in Charticulator uh, in this chart the main point that I'm going to talk about is about importing the images so here we are going to see that how we can create a simple um, chart here that shows the actually the emission uh, the gas emission in different countries uh, with their flag and the amount of that so uh, here I'm using this sample of the one there is a very short explanation on that also here we are going to see that how we can do that so the data set that I'm have is actually the data set that I'm using for uh, creating the chart the ranking chart in the previous uh, blog post about uh, about uh, charticulator here I'm going to reuse that one this data set is about the gas emission in 2000 uh, 12 uh, 2011 I already put the uh, link to download of this uh, webs uh, this data set uh, in the this video actually description so if you want you can actually access that uh, I'm going to import that one so you see that we have a very simple data set about the country about the year and the emission value in 2000. 11 uh, because i'm going to create a kind of the bar chart a stack bar chart so i don't using the symbols symbols mainly used for the scatter charts and when we have dots but here i'm going to create that one so i just drag and drop it here so this is the chart uh, so here the environment so if you look, click on the plot segment you can see that you can see the type of the chart over here the both of them are the kind of the same so here for example by default is like a bar chart but you can change it to the grid or you can change it to become a stack bar chart like here i want to show the emission value in the width of the each so the length of the each bar should be emission so i drag and drop and put it on the width of the chart Another thing I want to that each bar chart shows a different countries with different color. So I'm going to click on the shape because now I'm going to create something for the each shape. And I want to change the fill instead of the light gray. I'm going to change it to the country. So now for the each country, you have different color. Another thing that I want to do is actually I want to sort the chart based on the emission value so i need again click on plug segment the segment of the whole chart and here is a place uh, that actually you can mention how to order your uh, bar uh, actually stack bar so the bars how should be sorted so i'm going to sort them based on emission value and now i want to put the name of the countries at this end and the their flag at the left side so uh, for this purpose you see that there is a two type of the text here so the one that has dot is actually is going to locate to allocate it to each shape of the data or each data point or we have a text box that actually you can use it for the title of the chart or other uh, just not related data so because this is a related data using this one i put it at this end and the text value comes under the glyph and it should be the country name and you can just make it a bit nicer so it's located over there you can make it change that one now at the other end i want to put the flag again same as the text for the images we have uh, just a general image that you can put it anywhere and the image that related to the data so i'm going to click on that and put it at this end so this image should shows the country so i'm going to set that this image and drag and drop for that so just doing that and now for the each country i want to import their flag so to do that i click on the bind data and here is a place that you can actually from your computer load the uh, actually the image of the flag of the each country so for the china i'm going to put it here the china united states so you need to do that for all of them india uh, russia 
and Germany. So you need to do that for all of them. Korea, Iran, and UK, and I think France. So this is about the uh, emission, gas emission that's happened for each of these countries. So you can see, you can put them at the legend. There is no need to do that. Uh, also, you can specify the location of that one and also you can change the size of the flag to be uh, kind of the bigger or smaller size so you can mention that one um, to what's the size it should be also you can uh, so that's a kind of the how we can allocate the image to a chart uh, same as the other visual uh, you can kind of export it and use it inside Power BI. The only thing is that in Power BI, you couldn't change the image. So that's a kind of the drawback of this chart because you couldn't, there is, at least when I check, there is no way to actually, you can change the flag there. So maybe uh, there are other settings that we need to consider. But if you look at that, when I click on the export and export by Power BI, uh, we have icon but the icon is actually not for the each point of the data so i need to check that one but as long as i know you couldn't change it you can change the country the emission value but the icon should be the kind of the same thing so it, uh, icon is not a dynamic one here so i'm going to actually export it so it's just that one and i set the label and I call it as a value and I want everything um, you can use a specific icon I don't do that so now I'm going to the power bi get the data that's a csv file we have and it was emission So this is a data that I have. Just close and apply so I can see that inside the Power BI desktop. Okay, so I'm going to import the image, get the image from a file, import it. I already downloaded on my download, that's one. I didn't put a specific icon for that, so you see that as the other one. So here you see that we have label and value. So that's a one that we have. So I can put the value this and the emission is one. Just don't summarize and also don't summarize. Sorry, I just put it label so you can see that. And you can see the things that you can change here. As you see, icon is here, but you couldn't change it. You can change the scale. You can change the margin of the charts uh, and everything. But uh, unfortunately, there is, I couldn't find at least one. You can order it based on the country or based on the emission value here. Uh, but unfortunately yet there is no way for the images so uh, there is no way to actually import your images hope in future we can do that thanks so much for watching this video hope you enjoy it